So I believe it's very obvious today that the, the theme of this church this year is? Wider. Amen. Uh, Pastor Julius and Pastor Jinky, they, they wore a uh, wider t-shirt and Brother Bill as well. And some of you here, wider. Hallelujah. Now, this is not just a byproduct of the leadership imaginations. What, is, what would be our theme for this year? But I believe the God that we serve is the God of direction. He's the God of revelation. Amen. So everything we, 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 we declare, everything we, can, uh, we show to the church, it is not just in a form of the, the result of our wise evaluations of meeting, but this is the guidance of the Lord, the direction of the Lord. Wider. Say with me, wider. wider. Amen. And with that theme for the whole year, uh, ang atong unag nga message this morning is, uh, in light of the word wider, vision alignment. Say with me, vision alignment. Now, vision alignment or alignment of visions is very, not just necessary, but it is vital and crucial. There must be alignment of visions. That his visions becomes our visions. Uh, our vision is not just the byproduct of our imaginations, atong, uh, deep thinking, but it must be a revelation from the Lord. And vision alignment is very important because when there is no alignment of visions, there will be division. Amen? The product of not align, aligning ourselves to the vision of God, it will cause division. It will cause distractions. It will cause us be, uh, being diverted from the, the call of God and the purpose of God for our lives. So, vision alignment is just, I, I will show you an example how important is alignment, vision alignment. I believe we all experience it while we are watching uh, TV or YouTube or videos that sometimes the audio on the video does not coordinate. There is no coordination of the audio on the video. Have you experienced that? No. Ang action, ang tingog, dili tokmas action. For example, we are watching videos, diba? Gospel videos. Go into the world and preach the gospel. Do not be idle, nor be slothful. Arise, shine, for your light has come. But sometimes when there is no alignment of the audio or the video, morning mahitabo. Go to the world and preach the gospel. Be idle and be slothful. <laughs> so, ingana ang mahitabo when there is no alignment of visions. That's why it's very important that the church has visions and the people will align to the vision. That we align ourselves to the vision that God has given to us. As I, as I have said a while ago, vision comes directly from the revelation of God's Word. Visions are not the result of our can you know, deep thinker, kaika, mula kang si Plato, mula kang si Aristotle. Vision comes out. No, visions is the product of the revelation of the Word of God. This is how exactly Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2, uh, verse 1 and 2, giingon dini. I will stand upon my watch and sit upon the tower and will watch to see, yung sa yung will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. The righteous shall live by his faith. Niyingon dia, watch to see what he will say. So what we see, the vision comes from what he say. Every vision that we have must be the byproduct or the result of, from the inspiration of the revelation of God's Word. 
Ang mga panan-aon nga atong nakita o pagahimoon, dili na panan-aon sa ato ng kabright, but panan-aon ka na siya nga nahimukso because of the inspiration of the revelation from the Lord of God. Ang atong panan-aon, gikan sa pulong sa Diyos. Amen, Mamig Zon? Vision comes directly from the revelation of God's words. That's why in verse 2, And the Lord answered me and said, Ingon si quoted by Pastor Kyle a while ago, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, upon walls also as well. T-shirts. Amen? That he may run that reality. So there is a coordination. When we have common visions, when we align our visions together, there will be unity. There will be harmony. There will be synergy that will produce strength beyond your own strength. Ang atong kusog, ma-multiply, ang atong energy, mag-multiply, o mahimu sang dako ang resulta sa atong mahimu. Amen, mamig zone. So, it is very, very important kinigitawag na itong vision alignment. Ang atong ang pananaon, dili lang kay atong pananaon, but His vision becomes our vision. Because our vision is, it, 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 sa ako nang iyon, dili ni siya sa ato lang kabrahe ito, pag plano na ito, pila ito kabula itong plano na ito, October, November, December, dili na siya resulta sa atong pagka, pag plano, plano, but it is the inspiration that comes from the revelation of the Word of God. Then our actions, no? sa diyan mo align ta, ang atong actions, atong effort, ang atong mga pagahimuon, ma-align ka ay sa pananaon sa ginoo. Na gusto na ko nga i-lay down na to one of the uh, visions nga na uh, visions of new life as a church. Ato matong gitan na sa video, dili ba? Dili pa to siya gimimurayos to pirtagsa-tagsa. O sa sa naging I see a local church no, so great in numbers that the walls of the building are not big enough, not wide enough, not high enough to contain the multitude drawn to experience new life. So one of the, the apostolic vision of this church is that this church is being visualized as a church that is growing. Tell somebody next to you, you belong to a church that is growing. We're growing bigger. We're growing wider. And this is the vision of the church. The vision of the church is to grow bigger and wider. So, kanya to wider nga team, dili na siya team, team, for the sake of having thing. This is in alignment with the vision that God has given to the church to grow wider. Amen? Likewise, make so, gusto na kumasabda na to, this is the apostolic vision of Pastor Paul Chase for the local church here. But as a church, a universal church, how did God visualize His church? Giyunsa man pagtanaw sa ginoo ang iyong simbahan. Usa ba kasimbahan nga kuyang? Usa kasimbahan nga walay imik? Usa kasimbahan nga grabe ka holy kayo? Nga walay impact o influence nga gihimo? Nagyun sa Matthew 16, verse 17, Sa ako nang giingon kaganiha, revelation comes directly, uh, vision comes directly from the revelation of the words. Ingon si Jesus Christ. Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjuna, or son, or Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So there was a revelation from the Father to Peter. And in verse 18, And I say unto you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So the church that Christ envisioned or visualized is the kind of church that is unstoppable in growing, in growth. Do not mga mga hindrances, 
Doon ay moabot ng mga obstructions, mga obstacles, mga trials, mga pagsulay, mga pandemic, kung sabi niya. But kining tanan, all these things cannot hinder the move of God to grow bigger, to grow wider, because this church, by the revelation of God's Word, is being envisioned, visualized as a church that is growing unstoppably. Nothing can stop the church from growing. Hello? Because in God's vision, the church that God sees is a church that is growing. In spite of something that would try to hinder, to stop, to limit, no? to slow down the direction, the movement of the church. But Jesus said to Peter, no, the church that I built is the church that is unstoppable in growth. It will grow bigger and wider regardless of who will hinder it. No power on earth can stop the church from growing. And the good news is, Paul said in first type, Timothy 3.15, Pamina mo mayo, ngayon siya. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know, that thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth. Now, we believe that the church is not the building. Do you believe that? The church is the people. But I want you to correct that also. Because the building is not the church, but the building involved the church as a whole. It's, it's being involved. Now, every gathering of worship services, Bible studies, life groups, worship, uh, mga equipment that belongs to the house of God, as a building, it is called as the house of God. You know, this set up right now, we're worshiping God, praising God, mga sound system, mga lights. This is church. This is the house of God. Hello? So when God said that the house of God, the church will grow, the walls of the building will grow. Numbers of people worshiping God will grow. Sound systems and technology will grow. Because this is part of the church that Jesus built. Designed to grow. Hallelujah. And cannot be stopped. And because we are the church, corporately and in individually, so the Magiskotag church, it, only, it does not only involve the facilities of the building, but it involves your life, it involves your marriages, it involves your businesses, it involves your job, your income. In other words, when God said the church is growing, your business will grow, your income will grow, your family will be blessed. You grow bigger and wider because this is the kind of church that Jesus built. Uh, Gospel of Jesus Christ that we align our visions to this revelation. That the church that Jesus built is unstoppably growing, increasing in numbers, in wisdom, in passion, in worship, in prayers, and every aspect of, of a church. No? Hatanan nga kahimtang sa simbahan, kita magatubo. Tell somebody next to you, you are growing Amen na siya. Nakabantay yun ko. You're growing. Amen. You're growing mature. You're growing in the knowledge of the Word. Your praise is growing. Your prayer time is growing. Your love for God is growing. Your love for people is growing. Your generosity is growing. Hallelujah. Your business is growing. Your income is growing. Your family is growing. Hallelujah. Because this is the church that Jesus visualized. And He wants us to align with this vision. Nga kung giyon sa pagtanaw ni Jesus ang iyong simbahan, ing anak po ng atong tinanawan. Amen? A growing church. It's Isaiah, nag-ingon si Isaiah that God's ways are higher than our ways and His thought is wiser than our thoughts. And it's very, it's impossible for us to comprehend the mind of God. That's why the Bible said, trust in the Lord. Amen? With all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding because we cannot really fully grasp 
and comprehend the mind of God. But ang, ang tuyo lang yung sige, no, it's not for us to can ibita ma, ma, ma fathom na to ang mind of God because we cannot. All there's only one thing that God requires from us. We align our vision to His vision. We align our thought to His thought. Dili na to kaya maabot yung unahuna, but we have the capacity, the ability to align ourselves to His thought. Di na to ma, 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 malapasan ang unahuna sa Diyos, pero pwede mantang mo align sa unahuna sa Diyos. Amen? And Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 to 18, this is the thing that will happen when we align ourselves to the mind of God. No, when His vision becomes our visions. When there, when there is vision alignment by the revelation of His Word, the Nawa, and the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and the revelation and the knowledge of Him. Uh, knowledge and wisdom and revelation comes from the Word of God. Amen? If you read Proverbs, in Makita diha, wisdom, when we read the Word of God, we are increasing in wisdom. So verse 18, yeah, when we align ourselves to the vision of God, sa revelation from the Word of God, ang yang thought mahimot tong hunahuna. Di na to maabot yang hunahuna, but we align our thought to His thought. And the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Maabrihan ito na huna and you'll begin to see things that you have not seen before. You'll begin to see possibilities and open doors ka wala pa ni mo makita, sukad na sukad, tungkol game because of doubt, because of unbelief, because of worries, because of anxieties, because of obstructions, because of mga impediments siya, mga limitations. But when we begin to align our thought to His thought, then God can give you revelations, inspiration, and you'll begin to see things that you have never seen before. Makakita ka mga opportunity, mga mga butang, mga abrito, abri, abri ng butahan ng wala ni mo makita sukat na sukat. Pero diha lang yung masugdan o kagikita when you align your thought with thought. There will be a revelation from His words that will give you visions. It's for us to clearly see things nga naaroon ka sa itong atubangan pero wala na itong makita pero magsugod ka kakita sa dihang mo-align ka sa pananahon sa ginoo. That way we know what the hope of His calling that begin to know and understand no? what is the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. Mga opportunities, mga privilege, mga inheritance yung makita there are things to be discovered. O gato na watono niya sa ginoo. Say with me, wider. Amen. When we align our thought to His thought, there, when there is vision alignment, God will be able to wind in, widen our vision. Kaniyan to, limitado, marito makita. Um, Inga ni ra, kotob, kailan magbantiner kita, kay ingang simbahan, inga na magandang simbahan, ang simbahan, arong ka masantos, magantos. Diha ra ka makita. But you'll begin to receive the divine revelation that will give you wisdom, inspiration, and vision. Then it will wind in your understanding, it will wind in your mind, it will wind in your vision to see greater things from the Lord. Opportunities and favor and promotions, nga naghulat lang di ay, hallelujah, because God said to Abraham, as far as your eyes can see, I gave it to you. So it's very important for us to align no? sa huna-huna o nakita sa Diyos because when God will show you some, something, di na ipakita para ipaibog sa imo. Because He's about to do great and mighty things sa mga butang yung ipakita ka ni mo. Para kanimo o pinaagi kanimo. Amen, Mama Exon? That is why in 2 Corinthians 4 18, when you begin to allow God no, to have His way over your life by aligning our vision to His vision, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. When God will widen your eyes, no, open your eyes to see wider things. 
you begin to look at the things between not in the physical but in the spiritual realm. You'll begin to see possibilities beyond impossibilities. You'll begin to see can it be the opportunities from limitations. Makakita ka niya kaniya to murag di lisod ka ing panahon. Kung wala kay connection, di, di ka makakuhaan. Kung wala kay kaila, wala kay, wala kay ngana. But when God will widen your eyes to see, makita ni mo, pagkadaku di ay sa pabor o panalangin yang giandam sa Diyos ka nato. Daku pa kay sa problema ng imitubang ka ron, kay sa mga limitasyon na nagpugong ka ni mo ka ron, because we have a bigger God, greater God, awesome God that we serve, hallelujah, who promised us that He will never leave us nor forsake us, who promised us that He will help us. He even promised that when we call upon Him, He will show us great and mighty things that you have never known before, you have never seen before, you have never experienced before. But as we align ourselves, hallelujah, there will be, when there is the vision alignment, then you'll begin to see Things that you have never known before. Ng butang wapa ni makita, ma sabti, abin mo king anina, abin mo gihar ka kutub, pero there's so much more. Not only to see, but to receive and to experience from the Lord. Amen ba make zone? Now, gusto na ko nga ibutangi ka na, instill sa tungkol na kasing-kasing, nga makakita ka Kung unsa gi nakita sa Dios ang simbahan. Now, we are the church, Emil Mamigzon. You are, you are unstoppable. That's why the devil will try to deceive you nga di na nimo kaya, wala kay grado, wala kay connection. To kay gusto sa kakaaway nga limbungan ka, nga dili ka makaila that you are created, hallelujah, and in the eyes of God you are unstoppable. You are anointed to grow, you are anointed to prosper, you are anointed to increase, and nothing in this world can hinder you, can stop you because God is backing you up. Kisa may makaupo sa Dios. And the Word of God, by the revelation of the Word of God, He wants us to see the way God sees. We align our vision to this vision. There should be a vision alignment. And this wider thing is not just a theme, hallelujah. This is the vision of God for this church. And you being planted in this church, hallelujah, God is including you, hallelujah, sa iyong pananahon, nining maong pagtubo in every aspect of your life. Hallelujah. When we, when we say the word wider, what do you visualize? In your personal life, in your marriage, in your business, in your family, in your calling, kung say mo nakita, God is giving you the revelation of His word wider. What do you see? What do you see? Are you still seeing closed doors? Are you still seeing limitations, obstructions? Are you still seeing lack? Are you still seeing excuses and alibis? Or you begin to see possibilities? You begin to see, hallelujah, God is working mightily. He's preparing something great for your life. And nothing can stop it. Importante nga i-align nato ang ito pananahon sa pananahon nga nakita sa Diyos para kanimo. Kini ang iyang pananahon kanimo. Kini ang iyang pananahon sa simbahan. This is not just a word to wider. This is the vision of God for His church and for your life and every aspect of your being. You will grow bigger. You will grow wider for His glory. Hallelujah. In Daniel chapter 10, uh, chapter 2, verse 34 and 35, this was the vision that God's, uh, D- Daniel saw. Thou sowest still that the stone was cut out without hands. Now, this was the church, a small stone. Now, kanin pananaw na nakita ni Daniel, mo kini ang pananaw na yatag kang Daniel about the church. Gamay nga ba to? Ingin mong tapat, gamay nga ba to? 
It's, it's, it, it, sometimes it's irrelevant, no? Murag, it has no value at all. Gamay nga ba ito? Pero talaga, wala, thou sowest, nakita ni mo. Yeah? Till that, that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet, where the iron and clay and break them into pieces. Kini gamay nga ba ito? Gilabay dito sa isa tuwa nga, Doon ay lima ka elemento, gold, silver, bronze, iron, iron mixed with clay. Dako kay giant statue that symbolizes governments sa kalibutan, dispensation na nahitabo. Gamay nga ba ito? Ni bungkag sa dako kay nga ribolto. Ano? O sa revelation na nang ihatag si Diyos kanimo. Do not minimize who you are and what you have right now. Ang imo nakita mura gamay lang imo opportunity gamay ra imo puhunan gamay ra imo influence pero gusto sa Dios nga makakita ka nga bisan sa imo kagamay dunay dagkong butang nga giandam mang Dios para kanimo Nga bisan ang mga imposible nga butang kayang buhaton sa Dios The government nga sa unang panahon hangtod karon nga usay uh, gigamit sa kaaway ang pag-oppose sa buhaton sa Ginoo they cannot stop God no, they, they, can even, they can even stop the church because the church is anointed to increase unstoppably. Verse 35, Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chop of the summer tracing floors and the wind carried them away and no, that no place was found for them. And the stone, kato nakita ang gamay nga bato, and the stone that smote the image became what a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Hallelujah! Bisagunsa kagamay ang naka ni mo. Bisagunsa kagamay mo ang abilidad. If you align your vision to His vision, God can empower you. Hallelujah! To become, to grow bigger and wider as He designed you to become. Sometimes we being so aligned to the, the pattern of this world. Ingo si Pablo, do not conform to the pattern of this world. Ayaw, i-align mo na huna. Monique, wala kay kwarta, di kakahimu na. Wala kay, manana, wala kay grado, di kakakaya na. Daghang kay, na pattern na itong nahuna, na align na itong nahuna sa, hunahuna sa kalibutan. But this time, hallelujah, amen. Paul said, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but let your mind, let your thought be aligned to His thought. There must be a vision alignment. Na to pananahon, ang imong imagination sa imong visions ma-align sa pananahon nga gihatag sa Diyos kanimo. Salamat sa gracia sa Diyos that trials will, na mong imang pagsulay. Di man mahimong huwag pagsulay. Na ay mga kasakit, na ay mga disturbances sa atong relationship, marriages, businesses, tanan, naana siya. But at the end of the day, hallelujah, at the end of the day, you will end up victorious. Because that is how God visualizes you. The church that Jesus built is a victorious church. Bisag-unsa ang mahitabo, you will grow. In verse 44, naging niya. And in the days of this king shall be the God of heaven set up a kingdom. This kingdom, the church, which shall never be destroyed. Mote giging umitaw nga sa tong kanta. Crashed down, but not destroyed. I'm... Crash down, but not destroyed. No weapon formed in this world can ever destroy a believer like you, a church like you. Because you are designed and being in the mind of God, in the vision of God. No weapon being formed to destroy you.
And the kingdom shall not be left shall not be left to the other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. It shall stand forever. So, wako may malusa yung mga pagsulay karon, Pastor, may mga ganang pagkawali diha, may lang yung anak, pero wak mag huwag kakabalo kung sa'yo ako problema karon. Wala kakabalo kung sa'yo kadaku akong utang karon. Wala kakabalo kung sa'yo akong akong kahimtang karon, Pastor, gamay lang bikila ni Pastor, ma-prison ako, ano ba? Gamay lang bikila ni Pastor, mag-backslide lang ito, ano eh? Gamay lang bikila ni Pastor, mag-simba ni Bloksok sa building. Tingali kung ala yung mga pangunahuna, Pero kinahalan, makakita kag, ma-change ang imong unahuna, and you conform your thought to his thought. I-align ang imong pananahon sa pananahon sa Diyos kanimo. Kaya nakita sa Diyos kanimo, you're growing bigger, you're growing wider, you're unstoppable, you're strong, hallelujah, and no weapon form against you shall prosper. Nothing in this world can destroy the sons and daughters of God. So, bisa kung sa'yo kahimtang sa'yo mong kinabuhi, do not conform to the pattern of this world. Align your mind, align your thought, align your vision to the vision of God. Mau ni nakita sa ginoo, o ang nakita sa Diyos kanimo, you will stand forever, hallelujah, and you cannot be destroyed. Verse 45, For as much as thou sowest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces, the iron, the brass, and the clay, and the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. So, makita na to, na this is kaninga pananahon, kaninga revelation, na ending. O gang ending may gsoon, kabulo ka siya ending sa imong kahintang kinabuhi ka ron. Tingali na kay, sa akong lang yun, na kay struggles ka ron, na kay pagsulay ka ron, na kay mga Gidil sa'yo kinabuhi ka ron. But the ending, at the end of the day, hallelujah, ang imong end, exoon, you will come out victorious. You will come out shining like gold. That is the church that Jesus visualized. When we align our thought to His thoughts, and we, when there is a vision alignment, we are allowing God we are allowing God to fulfill His desires upon your life. Kaya ang ginoo may so, nagyon siya, faith comes, no? Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Everyone must, that comes to God must believe. We should have faith in the Word of God. And our faith keeps us in alignment to the vision of God. Nga bisa kung sa may tabo, you believe God, you trust God, bisa pag imo nakita, it contradicts what you believe, what you feel contradicts what you believe. Still, you continue to believe and trust in God because you align your vision to His vision. So, in sa Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 11 to 12, some message translations, and uh, one more verse, and I will end. God's message came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? Pangutan ni mong tapad. Kaya ilang kasi kinyangalan si mong tapad. Kisa yung alam si mong tapad, ingin siya nga, What do you see? Sige, ingin na siya. For example, na, What do you see, Nathan? Sige, pangutan na siya, What do you see? What do you see? In 2022. Karon 2022, sa imong negosyo, sa imong pamilya, sa imong pangalagad, what do you see? Hallelujah! Sa imong desires, sa imong plano, what do you see? I said, a walking stick, that's all. And God said, good eyes. Tawa? I'm sticking with you, I'll make every word I give you come true. That's why it's very important for us to align to the vision of God. And every vision that God has given to us is the product of the revelation from His words. So, kung magkatanaw ka sa pananahon sa ginoo, nagpabilin ka na katuo sa iyang pulong. 
Huwag sa diyang magpabilin ka ang mga to, siyang pulong, ni align ka siyang pulong, ni align ka siyang pananahon, nagingon siya, kung makakita ka sa akong ibakita, ganin mo, ang mga butang, akong ibakita, ganin mo, mahitabo sa imong kinabuhi, muabot sa imong kinabuhi, madawat ni mo kini. That's why it's very, sa akong nagingon, it's not just necessary, but it is vital and crucial and important for us to see the way He sees. What do you see? Pwede ba, hong-hongin na po rin mo tapa, rin ina siya, kung saan mag-iing manakita ka rin 2022? Mga dalaga, mga ulit tao, what do you see? Mga negosyante, what do you see? Mga trabahante, what do you see? Iyon siya, good eyes, kung makakita ka, I will make every world Gusto kong mamina mo, every word I give you come true. He's a faithful God. Amen? Heaven and earth shall pass away, but His word will never pass away. God is not a man that He should lie, nor son of man that changes His mind. When God will promise, He will fulfill. He will do. And in Matthew 18, verse 18, last thing verse makes so on. Why it is very important for us to align no, with His vision. Very vision alignment is so important. Very I say to you, whatsoever you shall bind on, shall be bound in. And whatsoever you shall loose on, shall be loosed in. But you know that the original translation of this verse, Balisha, Ang pangasulti sa original ginagawa text ani, whatever, whatsoever that is already bound in heaven, you can bind here on earth. Hello, what is already loosened in heaven, we can loose here on earth. In other words, what everything that God promised nga na release niya, pwede na tungi batuman ni nisa tungo kahit ng kanon. God has already promised salvation. God has already promised healing. God has already promised increase and prosperity and victory. Kini mga butanga, dili ni siya, dili gusto ng Diyos nga magpabili na kini sa langit yung masaan. He wants you to believe it, receive it, experience it here on earth today. Hallelujah. And the only way for God to do it in your life, ang atong vision alignment. We align Ato pa ng aon, kung giyon sa kapagtan aon sa ginoo. Nagtanaw ang Diyos, kanimo karon you are victorious. You are the healed of the Lord. Hallelujah. You are highly favored. You are greatly blessed. No weapon form against you shall prosper. You are strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Hallelujah. You are full of faith. You are full of hope. You are generous. You are liberal. Hallelujah. You're increasing. You're growing bigger. And you're growing wider. And you are unstoppable. Hallelujah. Kini ang pananahon sa Diyos kanimo. Hallelujah. Kini ang pananahon sa Diyos kanato. Kini ang pananahon sa Diyos sa eksibahan. And we align. Hallelujah. To His vision today. Stand on your feet right now. It's about, hallelujah, to make a bold declaration that today, today, I will never conform to the pattern of this world any longer. Kung unsay sugyot sa kalibutan, unsay idea sa kalibutan, unsay opinion sa kalibutan, dili nato na dawaton because we have the opinion of God. And the opinion of God is so much higher, so much greater than the opinion of men. Ang kalibutan, maingon, diari lang yung kakutob, Ang pobre, mga pobre. Kundiha ka. But the opinion of God is, hallelujah, He can make a way even though there is no way. With God, nothing shall be impossible. This is the word of God. This is the revelation that comes from the love of God. And this mighty revelation must become our vision. Because every vision is the product of the revelation of God's word. This word, wider, this is the vision of God. This is the revelation of the Word of God. And I pray in the name of Jesus that we allow the Holy Spirit 
to open the eyes of our understanding for us to see, hallelujah, wider. Enable us to see the things that we have never seen before.